Welcome to Rufus and Dupus. Chico here, and it's a beautiful day here in Texas, and Rufus is here, and where did he go? Oh, he's right next to me down here, and uh, he's still limping around, but wow, look where Guz is, huh? Guess what? We're going to do some repairs, and this isn't even the big secret I was telling you about. This is something that happened on the way here, and it just so happens that I got so lucky that where I'm at, at uh, Harley's place here in Gonzales, as you saw before, we are able to fix that problem that happened to me when I stopped in Lafayette for the gas, because I'm still having issues with fuel getting to the engine, because the fuel pump in the tank, the socks and the filters there are getting um, clogged up, and uh, it gets to a point where it run won't run anymore, and then I have to shut the engine off and that uh, allows everything to fall away from the filters or the socks, whatever you want to call them. And then we have free flow again and everything's fine. Well, obviously we can't live with that. And I got so lucky, as I mentioned before, to come here to Gonzales at, at Harley's place. And will you look at this shop, will you? Huh? Let me give you a tour and show you what we're going to do. Well, you can see Gus kind of dwarfed in here. You know, 36 foot long, and he's quite a bit high. I can't remember exactly how high, but he fits in here with no problem. Then again, we got about 10 feet of guz hanging off the edge. Why'd we do that? Well, as luck may have it, this whole garage worked out perfectly to do what I need to do. And guess what that is? That's the drop that fuel tank that's under there. Hi Rufus, can you make it down? Come on buddy, come on. I know it hurts a little. Oh, good boy. So we're going to pull the fuel tank right down and do the repairs that we need to do. And this worked out really great because that's about a two and a half, almost three foot drop. Puts the uh, gas tank in a very accessible spot. And guess what we have at our disposal here? You talk about falling into it. You talk about Mr. Luck hitting the lottery of life to replace a gas tank or fix a gas tank. I hit it. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. So, let me show you what I want to do first here. I'm sitting on a chair here right underneath Guz. And here's the fuel tank. And you, you guys that have been watching for a while know what I went through to get that fuel tank down to do the repair in that field that I was at after Ulf screwed everything up. So inside that tank is a brand new sending unit that was put in there less than six months ago, maybe seven months ago, something like that. You guys saw the video, figure it out. But it definitely hasn't been a year. And boy, don't I get lucky to pull over and get a tank full of mud. Wow. So let me show you what I'm gonna do first. First, if you can see up there, I'm going to disconnect that, that filler hose from the tank nipple. And I actually have a little leak there. If you can see it, you can see the clamps between the frame. I've had that out since because of the little leak when I fuel it up. But I think what happened is when it was pulled down once by somebody else other than me, it got a little dimple on the filler nipple and clamp won't tighten up well around it but we're going to take care of that this time because the tank is coming right out yes we are pulling the tank out we're going to look inside of it we're going to pull the sending unit out we're going to get all that dirt and mud and everything else that i got at that gas station out of there we're going to clean that tank out and before we put the tank back up everything is going to be spotless clean and hopefully the sending unit hasn't been damaged uh, but I'm, I'm almost positive it's full of dirt. So uh, let me show you over here. We're going to be undoing all of those fittings up there. Right up to this one over here. So we're going to make sure that we have absolutely no problems with the entire filling um, tube. Okay. So I wanted to show you what we got here. Okay, I was telling you it was a secret, a special place, and everything was going to happen. This is one of the things that's going to happen. And this wasn't even planned, but the way it turned out, I had issues coming from Ingram to here 
with the fuel and I had in issues from uh, Katie to Ingram as you guys know so we're going to take care of it because I'm sure it's in here now it's not the filter on the rail anymore it's the filters on the uh, pump that are getting clogged up when it's sucking yep so we'll, we're going to take care of that and while we're down here we might even put the spare back where it belongs we'll get the part that belongs here fix that maybe the whole new thing here out of a out of a wreck somewhere I think they use the same one that's in pickup trucks and we'll get that all taken care of of course that's not priority one I've lived without the spare and the spare can stay up where it is right now but I'd really like to have it under here where it's out of the way out of sight out of mind as long as it stays there you know securely and there's no danger of it coming down and you know the pickup trucks work so I think this will work fine when we get it fixed so that's it guys uh, I'm not gonna end the video here uh, but we're going to um, take care of this I'm gonna take that down and then once I get down uh, get that down tomorrow we're gonna start pulling down the tank and I'll uh, I'll video that every step of the way so anybody with an F53 Ford chassis uh, in this year 1998 at least has an idea what they're going to deal with to change a, uh, a, a, a sending unit or a fuel pump or repair a tank or whatever they got to do. All right, guys, see you tomorrow. All right, guys, we're starting to do a little work here. We're getting ready. <sighs> Nothing like having the right tools to do a job. We got Harley at the controls. And I'm spotting down here. I think that'll do it, Harley. I think. All right, go ahead. Keep going. He's got about six inches. Keep Okay. Yeah. That's perfect. Oh, I see. That came off already? That sure. Sorry, it's got to have backups. What's that? What's that? That backups. It's starting the whole bump. Oh. So we need to. Uh, how do we do that? Well, wow, that ratchet made fast work of that, or that power tool, air gun. All right, so I'll let you know, okay? Okay. Okay, more. 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 Keep coming. Okay. okay. Wow. Perfect. All right, we got the tank out. But doesn't look like there's anything left in there. Everything ended up in the other fuel filter. 
There's some baffles in there, but it looks fairly clean. So the next place to check is the fuel pump, the sending unit. Well guys, we got the fuel tank out, uh, but I got to tell you, there's a lot less dirt in there than I thought I was going to encounter, and the filters on the uh, sending unit look fairly clean. I mean, they look good, not clogged, but uh, I stuck my hand in the bottom of the tank, and I can feel the grit down there, and we're trying to figure out how we're going to get the gas out. Once we get it out, we'll probably maybe wash out the tank and make sure we got all the grit out. So that's about it for today. And as you can see, the tank is completely out, and there's, oh, probably about an eighth of a tank full of gas in there. Okay, guys, day two, and we're out here, and we are going to flush the tank, get all the crap that's in it out of there. We're using Dawn detergent. Yeah, Dawn detergent in the gas tank. Imagine that, and water, and I know everybody's going to be concerned about drying, but we're going to dry it. All right, here we go. Keep an eye. Uh, we're going. What happened to the pressure? We used to have a lot of pressure here. There we go. That's what I'm doing. I got my thumb over the hose. Trying to get it up in those baffles. Oh, perfect, man. It's running out to, to fill. Look at that, huh? This is the way to clean it. Yep, Rufus is over there. He's inspecting everything. Oh yeah, everybody should have a forklift. And that's how we get that water out. Yes indeed, flush it all out. And then we're gonna sun dry the gas tank. You've heard of sun dried tomatoes, where we're gonna have sun dried gas tank. Yes indeed. No more dirt in the gas tank. Chico's gonna, I'm gonna be real clean, yep. Okay, we got the tank all cleaned out. Now we're going to put the, uh, the tank back in. The sending unit is in, and we're just gonna put some of the hoses back on the filler and the vent here. So let me show you. Sending unit back in, and then there's our vent hose that we're gonna use, nice pretty red. Don't ask me why, but it is. And then uh, we're gonna put this, this part on here on the tank and then the other part goes in this end so we're gonna see if that works don't go away well guys after many hours of work and uh, a lot of sweat and a lot of dirt and grease we got the tank back up thank God Harley's place and Harley himself helped me work out here with all his tools the back uh, or the forklift made it so much easier but even so, it was just an enormous amount of work. So let me show you what's what's done under there. Okay. All right. The tank is back up where it belongs. And uh, we ran some new hoses, um, especially the one that fit onto the tank fitting. You can see it up there. Brand new up there. All right. And that part of it's new. And then Harley adjusted this a little bit because we were getting a little bit of a fuel accumulation. It was pitched downhill and we put a completely new vent tube in. So I'm not anticipating any problems with putting fuel in anymore and no leaks for sure. That's, uh, that's all taken care of, no doubt about it. And as you guys saw, uh, we had that tank right out, upside down, filled it with water and detergent shook it around with the forklift, uh, got all the crap out of it, and we did that probably three times, and then rinsed it and dried it out with uh, the shop vac and the sunlight heated the tank. And it dried it out real good. We have since started the RV, absolutely no problem right now. There's only about 
10 gallons of gas, maybe a little bit less than 10 gallons of gas in there. So I'm going to have to get to a gas station pretty near soon, and uh, we're going to fill it up with some fresh gas. And that's about it for right now. Uh, I'll get back to you in a little bit. Bye. Well, guys, as you can see, Guz is back where he should be, and uh, everything went well on the drive to the gas station, which is about oh, almost 12 miles from here, no problems out. Filled it up with gas. That gas went in so fast, no more backing up, uh, any of that. Uh, no leaks, nothing. So uh, drove it another 12 miles back home, and everything was fine. So that's it. So we got the tank out, we cleaned it, we put it back in, and everything is running fine. And this would have never happened if it wasn't for Harley's generosity uh, to offer to have me stay here and help me do this project and also the one that I haven't told you about yet. So uh, stay tuned for that one. It'll be coming shortly. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye. Oh, and above all, don't forget to be happy. Ha, ha, ha.